Hello everyone, this is Northwind here, and welcome back to the Silent Age. Uh, today we're going to conquer Chapter 7. Uh, in the last chapter, we went to the island that is the home of Reginald Lambert, who is the time traveler that we found in the first chapter. Um, he had a crocodile guarding his front door. But we took care of the crocodile by feeding him Nemo, and we used a chainsaw to open the door. Uh, and now, we are going to wander through his house. So let's get it started. Okay, but we still can't time travel. So many abstract paintings. I swear, everybody in this time is like made like on modern art. Anything in the drawer? Box of matches. We'll take the matches. All right. So assuming this is where we came in because it's broken. Well, let's check the paintings. There could be something behind them. Hmm. Triangle made of cubes going in circles. Yes. It says something about society. Hmm. Triangle, but it's going in circles. Metaphors. Alright. Hmm. Painting of a bunch of stacked cubes. Actually can't tell which one is at the top. They all seem to be. Yeah, it's... Optical illusions. Like free will. Let's take this wine opener. Starburst clock. I, I, I can't look at that. That's your hairstyle. I can't look at that and not think of Fallout. What do I got here? Nothing of interest. Another optical illusion. This guy really likes optical illusions. Not a curve, but it's going in circles. Yeah, stack of thick books. This. Ooh, okay, we've got books. Really thick ones. Well, we'll probably have to use it to light the fire. Looks like there used to be a gun here, but there isn't any more. Fireplace. Uh, we should probably light the fire. So let's use the fire, books of the fireplace, and let's light something with the matches. There we go. Okay, pretty old piles and piles of books. Another abstract painting. Looks like the other paintings in here. One piano. Very classy. Nothing in the back of the piano. No, apparently not. Alright. Ooh, there's a rug. A zebra skin rug. Nice. Trap door. Getting old Zork in here. Alright, well, let's go into the trap door since I don't think there's anything else in here that we can do. You find yourself standing in front of an old neglected house. What's it say? No handle, or even a place to put one. Can I use the corkscrew? It worked. There's a ladder leading down to the basement. Well, let's head down there. Alright, so we're in the wine cellar. Which is kind of appropriate that we'd use a wine opener to get into the wine cellar. Oh, we got something missing here. There's a lot of wine for just one guy. Floor marks. Hmm. Okay. Obviously this bookshelf moves open somehow. I bet you if we find that wine bottle and we open it, that'll open up too. Looks like floor plans for the house with a lot of handwritten notes. Seems like Lambert is planning a lot of renovations. Okay, so we can't go through that door. Let's go through this door. Here we go. This is the this is the time machine. Has to be. Alright, so we got a tanning bulb. Check the shelf for something else. Full of electronic parts. Anything on this desk here? More blueprints. Blueprints for a time machine. Don't exactly have an engineering degree, but it says so on the drawings. Well, let's take a look at the spherical contraption. Very sciencey. Yes. The oscilloscope. No idea what it could as well. It obviously has a line that goes back and forth. All right. Go through here. We have this bulb. Can we use the bulb on the shelf? You'd think that would work, but it just doesn't. Well, obviously, there's some place that we can put this tanning bulb. 
Are there any lamps that could use it? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. I'm looking for another bottle of wine, because I think we need to put a bottle of wine in there for it to uh, open up. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have a time travel now. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's take the axe. What else we got? Okay, so I can't get the axe out. It's stuck. All right. Well, we have an entirely new dimension to to explore now. All right. So here's a barrel. What's what's special about the barrel? It's an empty barrel. Here's another barrel. What's special about this barrel? It looks like some kind of water collection system. Very smart. Raised beds. Vegetables. Must be how they sur survived for so long. Okay. Oh, we got something. A twig. Dry twig. Guess I could I could put things to I put stranger things to good use. Should actually read these things. Alright, can we open this trap door? No. Well what we'll do is we'll go downstairs. Then we'll do this. Ah ha 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 I knew there was a door there. Fire extinguisher. Something tells me we might need that. Anything over here? On the shelves? So enough food here to survive for a month. Well, it's good, because I mainly stay here for a month. Alright, well, let's see what's in this door. Anything? It's locked. And didn't this door used to be wood? Yes. Yes, it did. Huh. Yes, it was here before. It was just hidden. What about this door? The one that leads into the time machine room? Hmm. It's all steel now. Slammer did some work on the place. Yeah. Well, let's head on in, and let's see what happens in the future. Okay, so we've got small photo lab, dark room over here, red bulb photo equipment developer. It's got everything. Oil drum. Get the lid off. It's full of oil. Well, I need something to put the oil. Considering the times my life has depended on me holding on to stuff lately, the last thing I want is greasy hands. Okay. Okay, spherical contraption. Wow. Man, this is really something. According to these other blueprints, this was Lambert's first version of the time machine. It was completely abandoned, though. The Mark II. The drawing is really complicated, but the outline of it looks like the machine that I have. Floor plans. It's a bunch of drawings and floor plans of a big building. Wait, I recognize this. It's my workplace. This is Archon. Okay. There's not much that I can do... Ooh, trash can. Man, I've been doing this job for too long. I can't even walk by a trash can anymore without checking to see if it needs emptying. Actually, I just wanted to see if it had anything in it that I could use. Selfish. Alright, well, we know that this opens now. Can we move it? It's a lot of wine for just one guy. Yeah, yeah, I know. Apparently not. Apparently not, and apparently I'm missing something. Alright, well, I know there's nothing here. I need to find that gun. I'm not seeing any... Like I said, this is a water collection system. I can't use the fire extinguisher on anything, but I'm assuming the fireplace is going to go crazy. Um, actually, I've got an idea. It's a weird idea. But I mean, there are things here that I can actually... That I can actually use, so... Okay, so I can't go anywhere here because the door is locked. And there's nothing on the ground that I can use. Yeah. So let's go in here. We're going to try to use the twig. 
on the barrel of oil. The twig is all oily now. Okay, good. Alright. What can I do with an oily twig? That's a very good question. What can I do with an oily twig? Can I light the oily twig on fire? Alright, so now I need to go, I think, and use it on the fire, on the, the, what's it called in the future? This stuff. On the vines. Whoa, get out of the way, get out of the way. need to get to Lambert inside is my best bet. Alright. Well, I've lit it on fire. Do I put the fire out? Shoot, there's no water in this thing. I need to do something about this or I burn the whole house down. Well, you'd think I would have known that it was a water fire extinguisher and not a chemical fire extinguisher. Considering that's an important distinction. Alright. I can't go out that way, that's right. Right. Come on. There we go. Now I can get the axe. Alright. I've got the axe. Anything else here that I can get? Doesn't look like it. Moving on. Moving on. Alright. So I've got an axe. This thing is still on fire. Can I use the axe on the on the door? <clears throat> yep, I can. All right. So we're in a bedroom. We get a lava lamp. Lava lamp. Another painting. Pretty. Anything on the shelves? A couple of notebooks in here. March 11, 1971. I prepared a logbook to document my process. This is just in case something happens to me and someone else needs to continue my work. Dot dot dot. It's been just under a month since I left Archon. From what little I've heard, they seem to be pushing ahead with more time travel trials. Despite all the setbacks. Fools. Every last one. Hmm. What about this aquarium? Somebody's taking good care of this fish. Lambert has to be around here. Can I get this plant? Looks like the fish I tend to fed to the monstrosity outside. Now I feel bad for the little guy. Don't. If Lambert liked him, he wouldn't have put him outside. I'm no astronomer, but I'm pretty sure that the moon is up there. Oh, okay. I'm betting I can use this lava lamp inside this hole here. Could be wrong. Nope. It doesn't fit. Okay. Well, let's try going into the future in the bedroom. Let's see what we got here. We've got some kind of electrical socket. Plug the lava lamp in here, maybe. Whoa. We got a wine bottle. That's weird. I don't think this bottle is made out of glass. Even the cork seems painted on. All right. Well, let's check the notebooks. July 18, 1972. No progress this week. Two months of cold nights since the last that imbecile broke my bedroom door. And last night I nearly got mauled by a bear. So I finally caved and built new doors. Well, I'd like to see him blunder his way through these. Still, I must admit, it gives me an extreme, entirely new meaning to the term idiot proof. Well, that's not nice. Let's check the bed out. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else. A sock on the ground. No matter how many times I walk by these stuffs with my eyes, they always end up being the exact same place. Yep. 
Can I go out that way? No. Gotta go back in to the past. Alright. Well, obviously, I can use this here now. There's a secret passage behind these shelves that you could tell by looking at the scratches on the ground. Oh! Blackbeard! Yeah, you've Stop got no. Right there! Whoa, whoa, wait! Uh, Mr. Lambert, sir, it's me, Joe! It's I right. I don't know you. What are you doing in my house? Y you. you sent me here, remember? I'm gonna get out of here. I've done no such notice. Thing. For an intruder, you're not very bright, you know that? For all the commotion you caused getting in here, you might as well have brought a bulldozer. It's true. Now. You have exactly five seconds to explain what you're doing here. Or so help me God, I'm pulling this trigger and sending you on your way. Five. I, I, I was sent here. That's right, Four. I was. Come on. Why you? Three. From the future. You told me to find you. To warn you about the end of the world. Two. You, you were old, uh, with white hair, and you got shot. Oh, God, please don't shoot me, Mr. Lambert. This! This! You gave me this! Uh, it's an inter-something, uh, chrono. It's a time machine. That's right. One. Boom. I gave you that? Yes! I've never seen anything like it. But on the back, that's my family's signet. What? I made this? It's simply magnificent. Why would you put a family signet on the back of your time I machine? I gave this to you? Why? Who are you? I'm just a guy. My name's Joe, sir. I, I'm, I'm just a janitor at the Archon building. I found you in a room with a big, round door in the basement labs this morning, and you, you were dying. You said you'd come from 40 years in the future to stop the end of the world. Mm-hmm. I, I, I guess I was the only one around, so you gave me this and told me to find you and tell you all this, and... I've been there. The future, I mean. A bunch of times. And you were right, Mr. Lambert. Everyone's gone. But they left My suspicious God, so it did come they placed pass. items they really that allowed me to proceed through a mission. Damn bastards. I told them this would happen. Wait. I was dying? How? You were shot. You said you'd been shot. I had to actually find you at the uh the morgue to get this address. Mm -hmm. Shot? By whom? No, wait. Don't say anything else. You succeeded in finding me, which means anything you tell me from this point on could alter the course of action that brought you to my doorstep. The less I know, the better. That's right. So, you've seen the future. What did you see? It's pretty dirty. It's like a bad dream, sir. Everyone's gone. Buildings are coming apart. It's all just... Quiet. What happened, Mr. Lambert? Yeah. It is Doctor. Doctor Lambert. That's right. And considering all the effort you just went through to find me, not to mention bearing witness to the horrific outcome of the biggest breakthrough in the history of science, I suppose I owe you some kind of explanation. That would be nice. Cutscene. I was 24 when I got hired by Archon, or Athena, as it was called back then. Athena was one of the many weapons R&D companies formed during the Second World War. Mm -hmm. Unlike other R&D companies that had retooled themselves to pursue peacetime activities after the war, Athena had made enough money to continue chasing the next big thing in defense technologies. They were betting the farm on post-war Soviet expansion, raising the level of government paranoia to create a lucrative market for esoteric weapons research. They'd be right. I'd say they made the right bet. <laughs> there you go. Still a theoretical physicist at MIT, my thesis on the possibility of time travel via dimensional membranes got published shortly after I was hired in 1961. Company heads were so impressed, they gave me a team and a budget. Development exceeded even my own expectations. And after only six years, we had the first primitive version of the time machine up and running. And 
No one thought this could potentially be a bad idea. Our first successful trials involved sending simple objects into the future with a timed return. But with Archon running out of money, that was all the company bigwigs needed to secure a big fat contract with the Department of Defense. Apparently, we had sold them on the idea that the technology could be used to go back in time and strangle communism in its cradle. That would be wrong. The reality, of course, was that it couldn't. See? Due to the laws of causality, you can't travel back in time beyond the point where time travel was invented. And sooner or later, we had to explain that to our benefactors. When they started pushing for progress reports, Archon management had to come clean, but instead chose to ease government concerns by claiming the technology could be used to bring back advanced weapons from the future. But this too was a lie. Yep. At Get this point, we'd yellow already uniform had our guy. first of many human trials, and we knew there would be no weapons. In fact, our results were as terrifying as they were baffling. Time pilots returned frenzied and confused, raving about empty streets and human remains. At first, we assumed the city had suffered a Soviet attack in the near future and had been evacuated as a result. But as we pushed on further, the terrible reality became clear. Extinction. Time pilots started returning fatally ill, dying within a day or two from painful convulsions. Some never returned. Oh, wow. We lost several pilots, machine prototypes, and other equipment. So they brought the, the disease contamination erupted in the back map, from the future. We were completely unprepared, losing three lab technicians to what we later identified as an incredibly aggressive airborne virus. So the only way to stop extinction would be to prevent the time machine from being invented. Not that it would do much good at this point. Although we weren't equipped to handle biohazards of this magnitude, Management insisted we contain and study it. Mm -hmm. To keep our pilots and the virus alive long enough to study, we co-opted experimental cryotechnology from another project, Lazarus, and established a makeshift virus lab. That would be what this, uh, the cryogenics again, lab next the to the other to spin place was. Our setbacks into a success story for the Department of Defense, now claiming that the virus could be cultivated for use as a biological weapon. It could. The team threatened to resign, but outrage was swiftly quenched by promises of massive salary increases and stock options. I didn't take the bribe. I'd witnessed the lethal efficiency of the virus firsthand. I knew there was only one way this was going to end, so I handed in my resignation and set up shop out here. For over a year, I've been working to recreate the technology to bring me back in time and prevent mankind's extinction from ever happening. Okay. And now you're here, the harbinger of doom at my doorstep, wearing a boiler suit. Who could have imagined that Judgment Day would begin like any other Monday in May? In any case, unfathomable as it may be that you were able to bring this information to me, knowing is only half the battle. Preventing the outbreak will require more than just your tenacity. It'll require a gun. Me? Wait, what? Yes, I'm afraid I must rely on you one more time. You must go back to Archon and prevent the outbreak. Okay. No, no, that that's, uh, I mean... I'm really honored and everything, but... Believe me, you're the last person in the world I want to entrust with this. And I mean that quite literally. But by this time tomorrow, the entire city will have succumbed to chaos, panic, and death. How do you know that? You're here now, and you're all I've got. Wait, but what about you? Can't you fix this, Doc? Don't you have a plan? Apparently his plan is... I can't go myself. Sending me. That would break the law of causality. 
The only reason you are here to warn me now is because I was there to send you. And the only reason I was there to send you is because I was able to bring my work to fruition here. Kind of makes but some we've twisted no form of sense. It's the only way. You told me you found me this morning, correct? Yes. Yes, but... That means I failed to stop it, and the outbreak has already begun. The time pilot for today's trials must have brought the virus back from the future, which then somehow got out of the containment chamber and spread. That pilot is patient zero. Okay. I need you to destroy the supercomputer system controlling the time machine. Okay. I'll... All the research data is stored there, too. You must destroy it before the time machine departs. I wanted to break those machines, but when I I'm first started the game... I'm device to send you back one day earlier. How do you know how to do that? ample time to return to Archon and get inside. Okay. On the other shore from here, about 500 yards down the road, is a rest stop. You'll find a van there, fueled and ready to go. Why? Oh, I already have a ride. Which won't be there yesterday, you ninny. Now stop interrupting me. Yeah, Joe. One last thing, and I need you to listen carefully because this is very, very important. Make sure you do not meet the earlier version of you. Yeah. Why? What will happen? Universe destroyed. No one knows for sure. It's one of the conundrums not yet accounted for. There are theories, of course. None of them pleasant. Could be nothing. Now, let's get you ready. All right, that's heavy, heavy story right there. All right, so we're in mystery machine, heading back How into city. Into this, I nearly got killed trying to reach Doctor Lambert, thinking he had a plan. He did have a plan, and it turns out it's me. I'm the plan. Yep. At least I don't have to walk back. This van's not as cool as the ambulance, but it has its charm. Same color scheme, too. And it sure was nice of him to pack me lunch. Hey, there you go. Dr. Lampers not a bad guy. For the beans, though. And some gas for the Bunsen burner. Do I need to write this down? Do we need to stop by a store? I'm sure I'll think of something. I've got several hours of driving ahead of me, after all. It'll be almost morning before I get to Archon. Uh-huh. I just hope I have enough time. You have a time machine. Why wouldn't you have enough time? Oop, night before. Alright. That is going to be the end of this episode of The Silent Age. Uh, the story is coming to a head. That is going to wait until the next episode. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye now.